Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Carter James Ranch. Here we are, early December. We're kind of in the doldrums of the beginning of winter, where it's cloudy and overcast. So, being a Colorado boy, I'm used to the sun shining. So, the first couple of years we were here in Kansas, I was like, man, when's the sun gonna shine? But I'm getting used to it now. But, uh, hey, we unrolled a bale of hay yesterday for the first time. And I'm gonna walk through the pasture here. We, we, did, a, we did a big U. We started actually up in, uh, up in that corner and, and came all the way down to this end and rolled it around. Now, one reason it took, took such a long time is I actually hooked onto the bale backwards. So it came chunking off, it didn't roll out uniformly, which is okay. So looks like they've been out here at least eating. Uh, as you can see, the manure is spread out. So it kind of goes, you can see that pattern. I pulled it behind in my truck. So this pasture's got some, uh, still got some green material in it so they can, they can graze a little bit, but they definitely enjoy getting into the hay and for sure bedding down in it. So that was good to see. I did a previous video on bale grazing. Had some great comments. Appreciate everyone who's, uh, who commented. Uh, definitely like the uh, spread of the fertility and the nutrients a lot better when you roll it out. Uh, with regard to bale grazing, I do like the concept of just putting the bales out and you're literally already set, especially as you're rotating the cattle around the ranch. You just come to an area where you, you know, got bales set out and you, you let them out, have it. So, um, you know, you can see the, the cattle have laid down here, probably where they bedded down right next to the hay. Hay probably gives them a little, a little warmth. And we've got some really strange weather right now. We, we're having large swings in the weather. So it's good to have the hay out here where they can, they can bed down. Also gives me a good chance to look at the manure. That, that's kind of clumped up. We have so many new cattle here on the ranch. Uh, I've been trying to pay attention to their, their poop to see who's getting good nutrients, getting enough energy. We do have a lick tub out. But I see some of them that have been here for a while pooping and it's real, uh, real nice and loose how it needs to be. And obviously we have some that are stacking up so they need to get a little more protein in them. Yeah, so you can see I've walked all the way through the pasture here. And a lot of it chunked off here. They tend to lay down where there's a lot of gra or a lot of hay. You know, they'll, they'll bed down in there. Like that steer's doing right there. But it really spreads them out nicely throughout the pasture. One thing that is interesting, um, when they eat the dry matter, they do drink a lot more water. Which makes a lot of sense. Same with us. When we're eating a lot of dry food, we'll get thir more thirsty. So even though it's not warm out, they're definitely going through a lot more water. So we're going to have a big day tomorrow, having some hay delivered. And also having uh, more cattle, uh, south poles delivered. And our south pole bull, we're having some heifers. This is one good thing about here at the ranch. This is a, I think this is a rose bush about rotational grazing. Um, just getting trampling on these rose bushes. Try to get them out of here. But what I want to do, I want to walk over here. We fed a bale over here. So you just kind of saw the, how the unrolling looks. I wanted to show, again, I know there's lots of videos out there on YouTube. I'm just wanting to document our process here, especially different parts of the ranch that I'm trying to improve. So I put out a bale and left it here for two days. They ate on it. They laid in it. But initially I liked the idea of bale grazing just so you could set up all the bales and then be done. But here's the problem I'm seeing. Look how thick this is. It's really concentrated with manure, which is which is great, that's fine. But we've got a lot of thickness here. It's gonna be difficult for grass to go through all that. I mean, I'm kicking it with my, with my feet and it's difficult. So th this could actually work as a real negative. But look at this, look at this, we got deer. Deer coming over here. There's no sheep on this pasture. 
So this is what bale grazing does after two days. We're still real thick, so I'll need to get a, a rake and come over here and rake this out a little bit. When we first took over the ranch, this had been leased out, and there was uh, the gentleman that leased it. He actually fed bales in the same spot on the back part of the ranch, and for a year and a half, it has, uh, well, when we first got the ranch, it was real thick like this, real thick. And this is uh, on that back part of the ranch where we had those 13 calves that I uh, let a neighbor graze on there while we only had the 10 steers. They actually came through and ate all that up, or the deer did or something. They eventually ate it all up, but now it's just bare, bare ground. So we'll need to get some seed down just so we don't have weeds and whatnot coming in. So, yeah, quite a difference, quite a difference. Now, the one area... I will be interested in trying to do some bale grazing is across the pond where we have a lot of brush. I think it's buck brush that's grown up. You can kind of see it over there. It's a little purpley. Let me see if I can get in close. So I did put a couple bales over there. I actually will be okay with possibly just leaving bales there so the cattle just really trample that down. Um, I know in one spot I'll leave a bale. I may end up rolling some out, but we just need to have a lot of impact. Again, when cattle were given you know, free roaming of the whole the whole property, they tended to stay in this pasture right here. And then they would drink out of the pond. Again, I don't try to force them to drink out of the pond. This time of year, it's not that big of a deal. I don't like the idea that we have runoff from the golf course, especially in the spring, when they put down a lot of chemicals. So that's why I, I still fill up their waters. But yeah, really looking to try to improve that pasture across the pond uh, with the hay. And our different strategies there so I'll, I'll look forward to documenting how that goes with bale grazing a little bit but rolling it out but i uh, after after rolling yesterday's bale out i will uh i'm, I'm i've decided I, i'll i'll roll out on these pastures up here because i just like how it spreads it out fertility also love the fact that i don't have to worry about the small calves getting stepped on or trampled we all hear nightmare stories of calves especially with uh bale rings laying down right next to the bale ring to stay warm or get up out of the element sorry about that i hit the button that shut off the video without realizing it so um yeah just just a really good uh perspective on bale grazing plus uh un unrolling of the hay so here's a cattle we're on a pretty pretty misty morning temperatures are pretty cool but they're all they're all doing well. So, uh, be watching for the updated video of the new heifers that are showing up and uh, showing you our South Pole bull after they arrive tomorrow. So, hope you guys all have a great day. God bless, and we'll see you next time.